Hi everybody. In this part of the series I would like to show you how I use my 2D to 3D method to make a cogwheel. So let's start with the circle. I make, oh, that's way too big. I make it 5 by 5 millimeters and I make 64 edges. Let's zero it out on exposition, drop the tool, A key to center the view. And before I start messing around with anything, I select this polygon, hit the B key to bevel it in, so I preserve the initial uh, spacing of the edges. Now I go to edge mode with the tool key, select two edges like so, up arrow key, then hit the set key, right click to activate the edge extend tool, then the R key and bring all these edges out maybe like so. Drop the tool, action center, local, R key again and scale them in a bit. Drop the tool, uh, control set. Before I continue I want to go to perspective, W key, action center automatic, bring all of them down a bit because cogwheels usually are not all straight. So drop the tool, top view again, select these edges here, up arrow key, bring them round, R key with action center local and move them so like it looks like a cog. Drop the tool. Now I can already start to prepare hardening of the edges later on. So I select a couple of edges here. This would not be possible when you have a 3D model. You can try it out yourself. And then hit Alt C with the count of two. Click 3%. Yeah, why not? Let's make it five. Drop the tool. <clears throat> now I select the outer edges here, go to perspective view, hit the set key, click in the viewport and bring down all these things here. Then three for poly mode, select everything, W key, move it up a bit. Let's see how far, like so. Drop the tool, select all these edges down here. Uh, they're already selected. Vertex, set position, and we need zero on the Y. Drop the tool, perspective again. Now we can start to shape this inner part. Hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in a bit bevel it down a bit, shift click to reactivate, bevel it in, shift click, blue handle, bevel it up, shift click, bevel it in a bit, shift click, bevel it in, again, shift click, bevel it in, and drop the tool. Now we can harden these edges. So two key to select all these edges. Then Alt C here, bring them out a bit. Drop the tool, select these, Alt C, drop the tool. And now we can go to edge mode, add one loop around here. 
it out as far as possible, like so. Drop the tool. Now we can mirror this. Duplicate mirror over the Y with Action Center Origin and click in here, drop the tool, go to Vertex, Merge, merge everything together. That was already done before, so we can select this one, delete it, and here it is. The only thing left is I need to select this poly, this poly, right click, uh, bridge, click in here, hit the two key, select some polys or edges rather in here, bring them up and here is our cogwheel. Go to render, hit the A key to bring it in view. Use some nice texture. I love this mate copper. I have probably selected something in here. Yes, an edge. So render again, bring this in. Hit the F9 key and here is our cogwheel. So again, thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye-bye. See you another time.